now for the next 30 minutes, as the world turns. To have a show on for this length of time is amazing, just amazing. 54 years, 54 birthdays of As the World Turns, which gave birth to a lot of careers. In showbiz, you don't think that things will last this long. Usually if it lasts a couple of years, you've had a long run. This is family. I played Nancy Hughes from the first day we went on the air. Good morning, dear. I said to my husband. The show was live. It was just so nerve-wracking. Live, you just uh, prayed that 2 o'clock would come and, and you still had your job. In six seconds, five million people will be watching you. Five, four, three. Yeah, and you were gone. Uh. Whoever was in the seat, I knew their lines too because, oh, there's nothing worse than going up on here. The Kennedy assassination. Uh, we were on the air when that happened. They broke in with a bulletin uh, when uh, Helen Wagner and Santos Ortega, who played Grandpa, and Nancy Hughes. And I thought about it, and I gave it a great deal of thought, Grandpa. In Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. Then they cut to a scene between Henderson Forsyth and I. And right before they cued us, they said, don't tell the actors what? that the president's been shot. So Hank and I looked at each other, we got cued, and we started that scene. This show for 54 years has been about a town and families, and the Hughes family has been central to the show from its very first moments. We have four or five generations of, of, of cast members and of families on the show. And I think that is really the show's identity and signature and legacy. Multi-generational. That's the first, one of the first fan interactions I had was three generations of a family on a subway train. Yeah, I, I watched this on my mother's knee and my grandmother's knee. And that's a lot of how they got started. And most shows don't get that opportunity. We need to set, tell stories that have not only meaning, but just challenge our beliefs and everything with characters that are unusual and unique and idiosyncratic. We took a lot of chances with stories, taking on daring issues. What's wrong? Nothing. It was incredible to watch the fans finally have a voice. There's finally an open gay storyline. You know, you don't think like, oh, I'm touching people's lives being on the show or whatever. But when you're told through letters or interactions with fans that you are and that, you know, that you in some small way or large way that you've helped them. It's a nice feeling. What's my favorite storyline? The one I'm doing right now. Where I am right now. I have had such luck all along the way with the, the men that I've worked with. And now to work with Trent Dawson, it's such a joy to come to work, I can't tell you. They have written something very nice for Lucinda now by bringing back John. It's kind of a bookend. One of the scenes that we liked very much that we did, uh, he was supposed to fall for me and we were to get married between the third and the fourth act. We did the tub scene where I push him in the tub and he pulls me in the tub. Water under the dam, okay? Because it's the most recent and was the most rewarding for me as an actor was the Brad death storyline. Um, I think it was so beautifully written. I mean, I have to thank the writers for that because they gave me so much to work with. One of my favorite stories was the one that Julianne was in when we did. We went to uh, London and then uh, and then on to Venice. What do you want? Julianne Moore got her start on As the World Turns. This show has launched many careers, including those of Meg Ryan, Marissa Tomei, Ming Na, James Vanderbeek. Jason Biggs, Parker Posey. I like to watch how Julianne Moore has always been so gracious. She even came back. I'm so happy to be part of this special day. Cheers. I don't think we can wrap it up. I think what we do need to do, however, is to examine each character and give the audience a sense that um, they're going to be well taken care of in the future in their imagination. We will have a wedding, a birth, and a death on the show. And um, they will all come about in the last week of the show. Everybody knows about As the World Turns. It's iconic. It's big. 
I've been part of it one eighth or one seventh of its existence, and what a pleasure. As it all turns, it's like a poem. <laughs> um, you know, when you just, it's the beauty and the art of life. In our business, to be able to do what you really love to do every day for so many years, that's part of what it means to me. It is the relationships, and not only the relationships with co-workers, but the relationships with the characters who have lived in my mind, in my imagination for 11 years. So they're as real to me as anything. And you just sort of have to put them in a drawer and say, thanks, thanks for the memories. I've met some extraordinary people here, made some lifelong friends here. It's always been a terrific place to work, you know, full of fun and, and laughter. And uh, most people don't get that in their jobs. Oh, it's just been a blessing there. It's such a sweet job. Cool boss, people who like you. It's the, as the world turns, family. It's family. These are people that are, are like family. As World Turns will go on in people's memory, as with everything else. It will continue to have meaning as, as people remember this and will cherish it for the rest of their lives. I don't think there should be goodbyes. Just good night. And for the final time on As the World Turns, that's a good night.